I'm Jennifer Angel, this is Stars Aries. Now most of the activity this week is going on in your solar second house. Now this is all to do with money and possessions, but there are connections around the um, in other areas of your life too. So let's go through it. So um, all right, so Venus is in this area as well. So and Venus is the ruler of the second house, the second and the seventh house. So this is the area of Taurus and um, Venus is the Taurus ruler. So in here, if you've got like a love affair going or you're in a relationship, but particularly if you're starting a new relationship, just be careful that you don't get possessive. Um, let's not forget that Venus for all her lovely beautiful traits <laughs> has another side to her. I mean we all do, don't we? And that side can can be um, possessive and jealous so you want to just keep that in check because you know really when we're feeling that way sometimes it can just be that we're a little bit vulnerable for one reason or another and there may not be any cause or reason for you to feel like that so um, you want to just keep that in in check now um, let's go get back to the money and possessions so as I said a lot of activity you've got like Venus the Sun uh, Mercury moves in at the start of May on the 2nd so that's going to be Thursday of the week that's a communication planet and Mars is in there so there and there are some um, connections between Mars and Saturn now Saturn is a good solid business planet I mean it can also bring up things for the past as, as well that you need to deal with um, and, and authority uh, matters. Now it is sitting in your solar eighth house. It's a very powerful position. It's also called your second money house. It can be official matters also to do with sex too. So um, with you do have an opposition between Mars and Saturn and there's an opposition between uh, Mercury communication planet and Saturn so the first one is on the first which is let's see Wednesday and the second opposition is on the fifth which is the end of the week on the on the um, Sunday all right so let's have a little closer look at this so Mars up opposite Saturn it's in both of your money houses and uh, mind you, Saturn is a very passionate planet. So, I mean, you could be having, um, if you just started a relationship, then you could be having some amazing sort of sex there as well. Okay, about um, when we look at it from a business and um, money side, then there could be some um, frustrations going on there that things perhaps are not going to come through as fast as you would like them, particularly as Saturn is retrograde at the moment. So, what you need to do Aries is a look after yourself so uh, certainly you're not someone who has a lot of patience okay um, you're a really a proactive person and and that is the, one of the you know nicer benefits of you but of course the other side of that is that you do lack some patience so you want to go ahead and do what you need to do for yourself but make sure you think it through first so this is not a time to be taking too many risks now if we go to the end of the week where mercury is um, opposing saturn anything to do with money around this time you want to be like uh, think it through and just as i said just try to avoid that situation of just um running in making a decision because you want to get it out of the way and you want like an immediate response it's not going to happen right now you want to think it through give give yourself some time and be a little bit more strategic uh, about what's going on okay now there's a very very nice um trine at the start of the week or start of the month rather it's on the first so it's Wednesday between the Sun and Pluto Pluto causes in your solar 10th house there is huge changes coming up around your work and there's another square coming up in about three or four weeks in uh, on the 20th of May that would 
be three of always, um, between Uranus and Pluto. So what happens now is that you really have an opportunity to think about what's going down, where you want to be and how you want to move forward. So you're likely to start to get and leading up to this point and around the third week of May, you're likely to start to get now a pretty good indication of what's happening and what you want to do about it and how you want to proceed. Okay, so use this time to just get your thoughts together. Okay, so when things do start to change, then you want to be in a position that you know exactly what you want. So right now it's a good time to get your options together. All right? Um, all right, so very progressive week. Have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.